You've heard it before. Have an attitude of gratitude. But giving gratitude is an act that most people get totally wrong, with it often ending up being nothing more than meaningless platitudes. Today, I'm going to show you how to have gratitude in a way that you feel right down into your core, that fills you up with joy, with love, with boundless positive energy. And that kind of gratitude can produce great things in your life. Check this out. Welcome to The Power of Quiet, the simple way to self-realization. So if you want total control of your mind and more happiness and abundance in your life, then you've come to the right place. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. You're going to love what we show you because we don't just talk about this stuff. What we do here is purely experiential. And if you're someone here who's experienced the goodness of this work and it's made a big difference in your life, then let us know. Hit the like button below and share any gains you've experienced by letting go. Or if you have any questions or any challenges with letting go, drop those in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer whatever I can. Now, since it's Thanksgiving, let's take a look at what it really means to give thanks. Now, we've heard it all the time. You should have an attitude of gratitude. We hear this from New Age spiritualists or all sorts of influencers like business coaches, success gurus, self-empowerment influencers. You should have an attitude of gratitude. And based on their definition, what they mean by this is simply being thankful for all the blessings that you have in life despite whatever challenges or setbacks or hardships that you're facing. Just look for those bright spots and be grateful for those. Now, the problem with this is that it often has us playing some sort of mental gymnastics where we're grasping for reasons to be grateful. Heck, even if we have to make them up. But we might say something like, well, I'm grateful for my friends, my family, right? It might be something that we feel sort of heartfelt and warm and fuzzy around. Oh, I'm grateful for these things. Or we might be kind of using it like a coping mechanism, like, well, my whole life is a wreck, <laughs> but at least I got my health. I'm grateful for that. Now, the problem when we are grasping for reasons to be grateful is that we often end up looking like an episode of Daily Affirmations with Stuart Smalley. I'm going to do a terrific show today, and I'm going to help people because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Now, the problem with this approach is threefold. Number one, like I said, it's a coping mechanism. We're trying to convince ourselves why we should be positive, why we should be grateful. And number two, because we're playing these mind games with ourselves, we often don't believe it. It's like we're playing a game of fake it till you make it. And often deep inside, we feel like a fake. And number three, because we're attaching our gratitude, our thankfulness to things, these certain things, all that has to happen is that those certain things, they go away. And it's like we get the rug pulled out from underneath us. And this thing that, well, this is my one shining light and now it's gone. What do I do now? Right? So it leaves us empty handed. Now, 
all the great spiritual masters, when they talk about being loving, having this attitude, gratitude, right, from where they're coming from, it depends on one condition. And that one condition is that it's unconditional, right? Like Christ. All of his teachings were about unconditional love. You know, that's the attributes that we put upon Jesus and God is that he's unconditionally accepting and loving. And Amma, the hugging saint, she demonstrates unconditional love. When she does darshan during a day and greets and hugs thousands and thousands of people, she treats each one equally, right? Her love that she gives each person that comes to her is unconditional. And even Eckhart Tolle, when he talks about being fully in the present moment, that implies that you unconditionally love and accept whatever is in the present moment. He literally says that. And of course, Lester Levinson, all of his teachings are hinged upon being unconditionally loving. And that's why the basis of the goal that he sets for us to achieve is complete imperturbability, where nothing and no one bothers us, and nothing and no one is more special than anything else. Right? We're just imperturbable. Right? No wanting. No better than or less than. Just complete equanimity. And it's this approach that makes all the difference. It's the difference between needing reasons to be positive and just being positive. And the secret to just being positive, and this goes to the work that we do here, is you gotta let go of the negativity. Because what we discover ultimately is that this unconditional love, all that positivity, all that greatness that we're looking for, it's inside of us already, right here right now. But it's often covered up by our non-loving feelings. And so that's what the releasing process is about. And that's why there's all sorts of teachings about letting go. It's about letting go of our negative thoughts and feelings and just eliminating them. And we don't need to put anything positive in. Just by eliminating the negative, then we uncover that positivity that's already there. It just shows up and we become self-aware to this fact. And this is something that each of us can experience right now, despite what's going on in our life, despite you know, how big our ego you know, and our negative thinking seems to be sometimes, or how big the problems in our life seems to be. We can very easily connect with this positivity and this power and connect it to it in a way where it really demonstrates itself in our life. We can see huge changes and big turnarounds once we tap into this, but we can only tap into it by letting go of the negative thoughts and feelings that we're already holding on to. The negative thoughts and feelings that we typically want to ignore, look away from, and then we try to be positive, we try to be grateful by, oh, I'm just gonna focus on this so I don't have to look at that. But we gotta get rid of that so that we can have all of the love and positivity. And this is something that we can all experience right now. Let me show you. So we're gonna start with being grateful for you 
and loving yourself. This is something that you know, we often talk about too, right? We, we should have self-appreciation, self-love. We should love ourselves. But this is also something that many of us find it very hard to accomplish, to love ourselves. Right? We end up running into roadblocks along the way as we try to do this. But it's really easy. We can get into that by first letting go of our non-loving feelings about ourselves. So think about something that you don't like about yourself right now. Right? Maybe it's just something that you want to change about yourself, the way that you are, the way that you feel. Maybe you're judging yourself you know, from certain tendencies or habits that you have. Um, I'm always sabotaging myself and I can't seem to stop it. I don't like it. What's wrong with me? So what is it that you don't like about yourself? What's something about yourself that you want to change? Now, I bet that there's one or two things that come to mind. And as you're thinking about these things, what is it you want to change, what you don't like about yourself? Here's the thing about the mind. All the mind is, from the neck up, it's just a recording and playback machine. That's all it does. It's, it records things and it plays it back to you. And you can look at this thing that you don't like about yourself, and you'll see that it's like a broken record that keeps skipping and playing again and again in your mind, right? This thought about, oh, yeah, that's just, oh, this thing about me I don't like, or rah, 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 that you mentally complain about, right? Your mind has been complaining about this for how long? For days, weeks, months, years, maybe almost your whole lifetime. Right? You've been judging yourself. You've been not liking this part of you. You've been trying to figure out how to change it, how to make it go away, how to resolve it. But again and again, that mind, which is just a recording and playback instrument, it just keeps replaying this negative story over and over and over and over and over again. Right? So from the neck up, it just records and plays things back to you, whether you want to listen to it or not. But it doesn't erase any of that negativity from the neck up. Where you can erase it is from the neck down, right here in your stomach and chest area, right? Here is your feeling center. And check this out. When you think about this thing that you don't like about yourself, that you want to change. As you're thinking about it, notice what you're feeling here in your stomach or chest. And if it helps you, you can close your eyes and put your head down so you can just really pay attention to what you're feeling here. And when you think about that thing you don't like, notice if there's a tightness or contraction that you feel in your stomach or chest. Kind of like a clenching feeling, a tight restriction. Notice something like that? And what that experience is, is you pushing down on your feelings, pushing down on your frustration, pushing down on your regrets, pushing down whatever it is that you don't like. It's like, I don't like that. Get it away from me. So you're trying to push it down. And when we push down like our negative feelings or the negative stories, the things that we don't like, we're not pushing them anywhere else other than inside of ourselves. We're actually collecting them. So by pushing down on our feelings like this and you know, what's going on in our mind, our negativity, we're actually accumulating more negativity. 
And this whole story that's run in our mind, right, that recording and playback machine, we just feed it more as we keep pushing down our negativity. And it just, it adds fuel to the fire. So, if all that's doing is just accumulating more, then let's reverse this flow. Let's do the opposite. So again, think about this thing that you don't like about yourself, this part of you that you want to change. And again, just close your eyes, put your head down towards your stomach or chest. You can really feel any tightness or contraction there. And wherever you feel that tightness or contraction, it might be like up in your chest, you know, maybe even up close to your throat or down a little bit lower in your solar plexus or, you know, down in your gut there. Wherever that tightness or contraction is, wherever it's centered at, open up an imaginary window or door right in front of that energy. And that contraction, just see it as energy now. And imagine that energy now moving out that door. Right, just imagine it leaving right out that door. However you want to imagine it. You could see it as smoke moving out the door, just billowing out, or water pouring out, or bubbles coming out, whatever. All right, just let that energy go right out that door now. Just open up that door, let that energy leave. And imagine that energy going out that door even more. And some more. And even more. And let that energy go even more. And some more. And even more. And even more. And just let the energy leave. You don't need to analyze it. You don't need to know how it got there, who gave it to you. You don't need to play Dr. Phil with yourself. Just see it as energy. Nothing more than that, just energy. It's not good, it's not bad. It's just energy moving out the door now. All right, just open up that door even more and let that energy go even more, right out that door. And even more. And even more. And even more. Now notice how you feel. Just take a check. Just notice if you feel a little bit lighter. Notice a difference? And that lighter feeling, guess what that is? That's that love, that positivity that's already inside of you. And when you let go of suppressing your negativity and you just let it go right out that door, then that love, that positivity that was covered up by it is a bit more apparent then that's why you feel a little bit lighter. And that's all we're looking for. Just a lighter feeling, right? It's just showing that we're moving in the right direction. Now, we're going to take a, a step further now. See if you've been disapproving of yourself about 
yourself, you know, whatever it is that you judge about yourself or want to change about yourself. See if you're disapproving of that. In other words, you don't like it. Are you? Now, what do you accomplish by disapproving of yourself? Does that create a better you? Or does it make the problem even worse? It makes it worse, right? And who's doing it? Who's the one who's disapproving of yourself? You are, aren't you? Because if you're doing it, and it's not helping you in any way, then now you can make a smart decision. I'm going to be positive and love myself, or I'm going to be negative and beat myself up. What do you decide? Which do you prefer? Well, I'm assuming your preference is to be positive. But like I said, first, we got to let go of the negativity. So first, since you're disapproving of yourself, you've already seen that. That's obvious. And you're doing it. Could you let go of disapproving of yourself now? And it's just a decision. Yes or no. That's it. It's not complicated. It's that easy. Yes or no. Could you let go of disapproving of yourself? Make a decision now. And could you let go disapproving of yourself a little bit more? Right, you don't need to do it all at once, just a little bit at a time. But take baby steps. Could you let go disapproving of yourself a little bit more? Just a little bit. Yes or no? And could you let go disapproving of yourself a little bit more? And a little bit more. And could you let go disapproving of yourself a little bit more? And some more. And even more. And could you let go disapproving of yourself even more? And even more. Could you let go disapproving of yourself even more? All right, and how does that feel? Again, just notice if it feels a little bit lighter. And you see the difference you make when you get some clarity and you make a decision, a simple decision, that's all it takes. Now, could you give yourself some love and approval? And again, to the point of this whole video here is, this doesn't depend on things. This is not about you saying, okay, well, I'm a good person. I'm, I'm successful. People like me and all this stuff. No, no mind games. No reasons. The best way to put it is, could you just like yourself? No reason, just because. Just because it's today, right? Could you like yourself? Yes or no, that's it, period. And could you like yourself a little bit more? And could you give yourself a little bit more approval? Just because. No reason. And could you give yourself a little bit more approval? And could you love yourself some more? And some more. And even more. And even more. And even more.
And how do you feel now? Just notice if you feel even lighter. And now when you look at yourself, see if you still have that judgment. See if you still need to change something. Or are you okay as you are right now? Just notice if that's more possible. And you see, this is the difference between <clears throat> playing some sort of mental mind game about why I should be positive to now just being positive, just feeling generally more positive about yourself, just because. And you can apply this to everything that's going on in your life. So instead of trying to be grateful and thankful, despite what's going on, even if you have challenges and setbacks, well, let's just ignore the bad and try to focus on the good. Take responsibility for the bad, whatever is going on in your life. See, by taking responsibility, you start to look at you and your reaction, your attitude towards whatever that setback or challenge is, whatever it is that's going wrong in your life. And see if you're disapproving of it, disapproving of what's going on. And again, let's get some clarity here. How does it help you to disapprove of whatever that is that's wrong in your life? whatever that challenge is. Does that make that challenge go away by disapproving of it? Or does it just make that challenge even worse? And who's doing it? Who's disapproving of the situation? You are. So you're in the driver's seat here and it's up to you. I'm gonna be positive and love what's going on or I'm going to be negative and keep on hating it. What do you think is a wiser decision? And which do you prefer? So could you let go disapproving of the situation? Again, yes or no, just as a decision. And could you let go disapproving of it a little bit more? and some more. And even more. And could you let go disapproving of it even more? And some more. Now this might take some concentration, right? And some digging, right? Just dig a little bit more, let a little bit more of it go, a little, a little bit more of it go. Because chances are, for a long, long time, again, from the neck up, it's just a recording and playback machine. And probably for a long time, your mind has been there complaining about the situation and wanting to get away from it, wanting to escape the whole problem. Calgon, take me away from this. But you haven't. You've been stuck with the situation on and on and on for a long time. And maybe it's because you're responsible because the whole time you've been disapproving of it and thereby keeping it in place. But the simple fact is, is you've been disapproving of it. And by disapproving of it, it hasn't changed anything. So if that doesn't work, let's do something different. Could you let go disapproving of it? Yes or no? And could you let go disapproving of it some more? And some more. And even more. And even more. 
then could you let go disapproving of it even more? And even more. And some more. And how does that feel now? Again, see if you feel a little bit lighter. And you may already be looking at that problem and it might not seem as big of a problem now. It might be getting smaller. And now, since positive doesn't hurt anything, could you give it some approval? Now, this doesn't mean that you have to agree with the situation. It's just, could you love it? Because positive doesn't hurt anything. Could you give it some approval? Just because. Just because you can. Again, it's a decision, yes or no. And could you give it some more approval? And some more. And some more. And even more. And could you love it even more? And could you love it even more? And even more. And how do you feel now? See if you feel even lighter and now even bigger than that problem. Maybe that problem isn't so much of a problem anymore. Maybe even the whole story just disappeared. If you keep loving it, any problem, no matter how big that problem is, it disappears out of your life immediately once that love is complete. That's that unconditional love that Lester Levinson teaches about. But it's us, it's up to us to actually do it. Not just listen to Lester or these other masters and go, oh yeah, that sounds great. And we just listen to them. But we take what they say and we step up to the plate. We actually do it, right? It's not what we say. It's not what we read. It's what we do. And notice the difference that it makes. So this is a taste of what real gratitude and love and positivity is about. It's effortless. You see, when we're playing these mind games of trying to be grateful for things and having reasons for that, that takes effort mentally, right? And we have to kind of hold things together. Because like I said, if our thankfulness and our positivity depends on things, well, that thing better not go away. We don't want that rug getting pulled out from underneath us, right? So we got to keep it all managed, keep it all in place. That takes effort. But when we let go of the negativity that we're responsible for, right? There's nobody who's disapproving except you. You're the one who's doing it. And if you're doing it and it doesn't do anything for you, then what are you going to do about that, right? You take responsibility. And you take responsibility for the negative feelings that you put in. Nobody gave them to you. Nobody gave you fear. Nobody gave you anger. Don't go blaming other people or your ancestors for that. That's you. And that's good news because if it's you, then you could do it. You could do something about it. If you didn't do it, then you got to wait for your ancestors to do something about it. But this puts you in charge. And when you actually step up to the plate and 
you just do these simple things, then the benefits open up for you immediately. And you know what all these masters are talking about? Real gratitude, unconditional love. It's yours. So practice this in your life. Let go disapproving of everything that you're disapproving of and give it approval. Watch what happens. All right, so practice that, and I'll see you next time.